Pradhanani. Sir, I must thank you in the first place that you gave me an opportunity to take part in this important debate. Sir, Goa is a small state and there are four important rivers. Out of that, two rivers come in my constituency. We have got one major port, which is out of the 12, that is Marmagoa port, and we have got Panaji, a minor port out of those 200 minor ports we have in India. Sir, my colleagues have raised various points on these issues. I would like to confine only to my state of Goa. What I find of late is astonishing. Center is usurping the powers of the states and local bodies. Center should not encroach upon the powers of the local bodies. In fact, center has created a state within the state of Goa. Sir, to cite an example, the union government has recently constituted a new board of major port authority for Marmagoa port. No consultation whatsoever has been made with Goa government. This shows the authoritarian streak of the central government. This is certainly not acceptable. This is a blatant move to diminish the powers of the state and the Marmagoa port. This process is aimed at ensuring local laws redundant within its jurisdiction. How can the state forego its domain and powers that are there under its domain and discretion? This act of the Union government also aimed at renaming and replacing the Port Trust of 1963. Sir, most of our rivers are navigable to the point they rise. Goa being a small state, Port Trust or Marmoko Port is very important for us. Earlier, all the our iron ore is to be exported to that. And today, though iron ore is not there, a lot of passenger boats used to come to the harbor. Also after COVID-19, the passenger boats are not there. Today, we are mostly exporting our pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical goods that are normally manufactured in the state. But what happened is, there are so many jetties in the Marmago port. And these jetties have been given to the private sector. Today, what is happening? We are importing a lot of coal in the state, which people don't want. And I, as a member of parliament, I'm also against, because right now we know in the world, India has got 35 out of the 50 most polluted cities and we don't want to add one more. We don't want Vasco, which is totally populated. We, want that, we don't want that to be the 36th polluted town or state or city in the world. So we want coal not to be stopped, but we don't want our Marmagoa port or Goa to be a coal hub. Because Goa is a touristic place, a lot of tourists come and visit Goa, and because of this pollution, I'm sure it will tell on the tourism of the state. Sir, what is totally bad for the state is that the jurisdiction of the port has been increased from the port to one Betul. All our beaches in the south, nothing can come up there without the permission of the Port Trust. Normally what happens in Goa, soon after rains, you know, people are given shacks on the shore, little inside, for tourism. So this time, when the government gave them permission, the Port Trust or the authority objected, and then it was delayed. Then government came forward and didn't refer it to them and it went ahead and the shack's permission were given. What I want to tell is, so this thing just started, it will continue. So my request, again, in the interior, from the port, there's the one 
uh, about uh, 10 kilometers inside, there is San Jacin Island, which is totally populated. Now, the jurisdiction of the port goes from the port to, uh, on the eastern side to the uh, San Jacin Island. And on the southern side, it goes up to Detul. In between, there are so many beaches that come. Again, there's a fight between the local bodies and the port trust, or the, now the new port that has come. What I want to tell you is, sir, as it is, the income of these local bodies is very meager. And tomorrow, if all this is usurped by the uh, authority, they will not be able to function at all. Second thing, uh, now this port, Marmago port, comes in the jurisdiction of the Vasco municipality. Today they can build any, anything inside without mind. But just beyond also, they don't need permission of the uh, municipality. This is totally wrong. So what will happen is, some other instructions will come, something else will come, and the state will not be aware at all. So my request is that as in my case, it comes in my locality as a South uh, MP of the South. Many other MPs must be also facing the same thing. Today, there's no representation in the authority for any local person. So if it comes in the area of the certain MP, that MP should be put in that uh, authority so that tomorrow, whatever happens, the state is aware because it should not be against the interest of the local people because the MP is representing uh, lakhs of people in that state. Second thing, also two members of the state should be inclu included there because whatever is happening, the state should be aware so that they also safeguard the interest of the state in whatever expansion that is taking place. And third thing is, when Porters were there, a lot of local people were getting employment. Now, with this authority, and also, sir, with this authority, and after so many jetties have been privatized, there will not be employment for the locals. So I would request the Honorable Minister to take this into cognizance and please see that the interests of the local people are maintained. Thank you, sir, for giving me this opportunity. Thank you. Honorable Member Sid Singh.